Dan Toppy and welcome back to another brand new Fortnite video. A few days ago a giant purple cube did spawn into the map, so today I want to talk about what that cube is, what it could mean and my top 3 theories about what it could be doing in the game and what could happen when it has reached its final destination. So getting straight into it, the rift or the crack in the sky has been slowly shrinking. A few days ago it did get to its smallest point and this is when the lightning did start to strike onto the map started hitting one main place in particular, this was over in Paradise Palms on top of a mountain, and this is where the cube actually did spawn in. Now the cube is making its way across the map, flipping over every 1 hour and 43 minutes. If we look in the code it tells that it will be moving in 7 stages, we can assume these 7 stages will most likely be 1 stage per day, and it will keep making those movements every 1 hour and 43 minutes, for 7 days until it has got to its final position. The code also tells us that it will be ending at a lake, so we know it will stop moving once it gets to a lake somewhere in the map. If you actually go over to the cube and touch it, it will bounce you quite a lot like a bounce pad, but the more times that you hit it or shoot it, the further it will throw you until eventually it does kill you from the fall damage. It also gives you a very small amount of shield when you're near it, and it also makes a similar sound to what we sort of heard when the rocket was launched and we heard the communications after it. But that is everything that you need to know about the cube, so now moving on to the theories, and my first one is that the cube actually contains a new point of interest, or a new city, or something like that. And the code also tells us that once the cube gets to its final location at one of the lakes, lightning will start again just like it did when it spawned in, and I think that when the lightning does strike it, this will release what's ever inside of it. I know people have actually been inside of the cube, they managed to glitch through it and there's nothing in there, but obviously there wouldn't be an entire city held inside of it. Obviously it would expand once it gets hit by the lightning from all the energy from it. And I think that it will finish at Loot Lake, and once it does get hit by lightning, it'll expand and completely wipe out Loot Lake, filling it and replacing it with a different sort of city, town, or some sort of different type of point of interest. In an event like the rocket launch, I think they're going to build up for quite a while. Obviously, I think it's going to be moving for seven days because of those seven stages of movement, one stage per day. So they have been building up quite a lot. Lots of different things have been happening with it. And I think once it gets to its final position, this will happen and it'll be built up and it'll be at a time when those players are in the game and everybody can go there and watch it all at the same time like they did with the rocket because that was one of the best things from last season. And what happened with that rocket also led into what's happening in this season. So I think this will be the start of all the season 6 spoilers and leaks, just like it was last season. For my second theory, this is a variation of the first one. I think it's still moving in the exact same way. I think it's going to the same place. But I think that once it gets there, it's going to act like a giant portal, which is going to teleport in a new point of interest. And I think it's going to be a historical point of interest, most likely going to be pyramids. I think it will be the pyramids because this was teased in the Playgrounds trailer quite a while ago, and we haven't seen this added into the map yet. And another thing which makes me think that it is likely to be the pyramids is that the new Tomato Temple does look a lot like a Mayan temple, so they're definitely wanting to add more historical places into the map other than just the Viking village. And for my third and final theory, I think that the cube could still get to the same location which I was talking about before, which I think will be Loot Lake, but I think that it might open up to be a huge portal which you can interact with in the game. Loot Lake is quite central in the map, and I think this could be one giant portal where you can go in and land anywhere around the map. This would also make sense with the new Enforcer skin, which was the Road Trip skin, which we did get earlier on this week. Because when you do look at the loading screen for it, there is three Enforcers around the rifts protecting them. So it does look like they're the ones who are in control of all the teleporting, space travelling and time travelling in the game. So they could either be working for or protecting the cube once it gets to its final location. But obviously this theory is the most unlikely one. I do think that my theory too will be the most likely one. And that a pyramid will replace Loot Lake once the cube does get there. But we'll have to wait and see what happens when it does eventually reach that position once it has completed its full stages. But let me know what you think about all my theories in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any better theories, anything which you think is more likely to happen, or if you think it's going to a completely different part of the map and it might not even be going to Loot Lake at all. Maybe they just named it Lake in the code to mislead us so we think it is going to Loot Lake. Because lots of people have been saying for quite a long time they think Loot Lake should go. I think it should be changed because it has been there for ages. It's one thing which hasn't changed at all throughout the whole time of the game being out. So I would like to see something different happen with that because it is just a massive hole in the centre of the map 
that players tend to avoid if they can. Well thanks for watching, if you did enjoy this video please make sure you leave it a like, if you're new here make sure you are subscribing, check out some of the other Fortnite videos which are linked on screen now including all of my weekly challenge guides so far from the season 5 battle pass, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.